Hello and welcome to my first tutorial in English. In this tutorial we're gonna create basic social network with PHP. In here I've already created an empty folder called SN. So now we're gonna do gonna create three other empty folders. The first one is gonna be the CSS folder. We're gonna store in it our CSS script. I'm gonna name it CSS. The second one is gonna be our pages folder. In this folder we're gonna store all the pages that's gonna be visible to our users. So I'm gonna name it pages. The third one is gonna be uh, the avatar folder. We're gonna store in it the profile images of our users. So now we're gonna open our notepad. We're gonna create a new file called index.php. We're gonna also create two other files. The first one is gonna be the login page. So we're gonna store it into our pages folder. I'm gonna hit save. The same thing for the registration form. I'm going to name it register, register.php. I'm going to save it in the same place as the login page, which is pages folder. Okay, hit save. So now I'm going to do, we're going to create, we're going to add our PHP tags into the index page. I'm going to create our first variable called page, equals to dollar underscore get page. So the name of each page it's gonna be visible to the user through the URL bar. So now we're gonna do if isn't empty of the page, which means that the user has uh, chosen a page. Else, if the page is empty, we're gonna do we're gonna redirect the user to the login page. So we're gonna create a header location location index dot php and the page variable equals the login page okay so now if i refresh the page i'm redirected to the login page so the problem is if the user typed in here uh, a name of page that doesn't exist in our folder maybe he can type some weird things like this so in this case we want to redirect him to the login page so what we're gonna do, we're gonna create a new variable called pages and we're gonna scan a content of our directory, scan dir pages. I'm gonna print r the content of this variable pages so, so we can see the name of our pages. So we've got the login.php and the register.php, which is right, which is the content of our folder. We've got these two files. So what I'm gonna say in here, what I'm gonna add in this if statement, I'm gonna add and in array, which array, the array is dollar pages, we've got the name of the current page, which appears in the URL bar. Okay? I'm gonna add in here uh, the dot of the concatenation and the extension of the page which is .php. So, if the page isn't empty and if the page exists, what we're gonna do, we're gonna create another variable called content. In this variable, we're gonna store the path of the current page. So, our pages are stored in a folder called pages. The name of the current page .php. Okay, right. So to append the content to the user, we're gonna say here, gonna add our HTML tags, HTML, the head, the head, and finally the body. So in here, we're gonna open and close our PHP tags, and we're gonna include the content of our variable content so now for testing purposes I'm gonna say I'm gonna add some string here I'm gonna say I'm um, the login page and in here I'm gonna say I'm um, the registration page registration page so if I refresh the page I'm redirected to the login page 
and we see here I'm the login page. If I type in here the register page, we've got here I'm the registration page. So that's it for this part. I'll see you next time.